Hey, shalom guys. Today is day 13. The 13th pictograph is Mem. I love Mem. I mean, I really do love Mem. Water. <laughs> Mem has so many models. We have any type of fluid, blood, water that you can think of, oil. Um, Mem is my favorite because uh, being from the tribe of Zebulun, Zebulun has to do with a boat and sailing upon the waters. It has to do with being fishers of men. And, um, and so I really like this pictograph and he's spoken to me a lot regarding it. So today we are reading Jeremiah 29 11. And I don't actually have to read this cause I have it memorized, but it words it a little differently in this book. So I'm just going to read it out of here. All right. For I know the plans I am planning for you declares Yahuwah. Plans of peace, or shalom, and not of evil, ra'ah, to give you a future and expectancy. Then you shall call on me, and shall come and pray to me, and I shall listen to you. And you shall seek me, and shall find me, when you search for me, with all your heart, your love. And I shall be found by you, declares Yahweh, and I shall turn back your captivity, and shall gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, declares Yahweh. And I shall bring you back to the place from which I have exiled you. Because you have said, Yahweh has raised up prophets for us in Babel. Thus says Yahweh concerning the sovereign who sits on the throne of Dawid. Concerning all the people who dwell in this city and concerning your brothers who have not gone out with you into exile. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, see, I am sending on them the sword, the scarcity of food and the pestilence, and I shall make them like spoilt figs, so spoilt as to be uneatable. And I shall pursue them with the sword, with scarcity of food and with pestilence. And I shall make them a whore among all the reigns of the earth to be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all the nations where I have driven them. <coughs> For they did not heed my words, my debar, my orders, declares Yahweh, which I sent to them by my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them Yet you did not listen, declares Yahuwah. You therefore hear the word, Debar, of Yahuwah, all you exiles whom I have sent from Yerushalayim to Babel. Thus says Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yasharel, concerning Ahab, son of Kol Koliah, and Zedek Yahu, son of Maaseiah, who are prophesying falsely to you in my name, in my character, in my Shem. See, I am giving them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, and he shall strike them before your eyes. And because of them, all the exiles of Yehudah, Judah, who are in Babel, shall use a curse, saying, Yahweh make you like Zedek Yahu and Ahab, whom the silver of Abel roasted in the fire because they have done wickedness in Yasharel and committed adultery with their neighbor's wives and have spoken a word in my name falsely, which I have not commanded them. And I am he who knows and a witness declares Yahuwah and speak to Shema Yahu, the Nahiamite. Nah, I didn't say that right. Close enough. No, I want to do it right. Nahiel Amite. Saying, thus speaks Yahuwah of hosts, the Elohim of Yasharel, saying, 
because you have sent letters in your name to all the people who are at Yerushalayim, to Zephaniah, son of Maaseiah, the priest, and to all the priests, saying, Yahuwah has made you priests instead of Yehoiada, the priest, so that there are overseers in the house of Yahuwah over everyone who is mad and makes himself a prophet that you should put him in the stocks and in the iron collar. So why have you not reproved Yermiyahu of Anathot, who makes himself a prophet to you? For he has sent to us in Babel, saying, This captivity is long. Build houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat their fruit. And Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the hearing of Yermiyahu, Jeremiah, the prophet. Then the word of Yahweh came to Yermiyahu, saying, Send to all those in exile, saying, Thus says Yahweh concerning Shemaiah, the Nehilamite, because Shemaiah has prophesied to you, and I have not sent him. And he has made you to trust on falsehood. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, see, I am bringing punishment upon Shemaiah, the Nehilamite, and his seed. He shall have no one to dwell among his people, nor is he to see the good that I am about to do for my people, declares Yahweh, because he has spoken apostasy against Yahweh. Okay, so going back here, we see that Abba delivers his people out of the hand of his enemies. Our enemies are all about us. We are here in Babel. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. I don't know if anybody knows what tribes they're from. Some that watch this channel may have been revealed this. But for myself... I am from the tribe of Zebulun, and Abba has shown me what my place is within this tribe, within the 12 tribes of Israel. And so what he has planned for us is his plans, plans to give us hope and a future and an expectancy. So when we call upon him to deliver us out of our stresses, out of our enemies, that are surrounding us like vultures and lions and, and wolves seeking to devour, he delivers his children, his daughters, and his sons. And we are to shout out and ask for him to deliver us, redeem us. But the plans that he has for us are good when we seek the goodness of his word, his debar, his order of instructions. So what stands out to y'all from what I read? Please share it in the comments. I'd like to hear y'all's inner reaction uh, to what I just read today because he delivers us. His word is the living waters. This actually goes back to the, the pictograph for the day. Mem is the 13th pictograph. It has to do with the living waters. We will thirst for normal water, but the water that is unseen, this is a water that we should crave, and we will never, never thirst when we have this water. The other water we will continue to thirst for, but Yahshua and the living word, he is with us and he will never forsake us. For he is flowing through our veins. That's part of what Mem is. Mem is the blood. The life of Yahshua is flowing through our veins. And we do not need to worry, but put our trust in Abba. And he shall bring us through whatever trials we are faced with, both small and great. That's what I got for y'all today. Shalom, Havarim. I'll see y'all back here tomorrow. Bye.